Hello everybody, sorry for the not great shot, but this is the only place I can put my camera, plus I am driving so I'm not going to look at the camera too much. So I'm just going to start this vlog off by letting you know what it is that we're doing here. So this is the Ferro Retreat Wellness Intensive, it's um, something I am co-hosting with Tamara Howell, who you will know, like she's been on my channel a million times. So um, we decided to do an in-person event and we're super excited about it. It's the first one we've ever hosted because we didn't know each other really before the pandemic, so that we wouldn't have had a chance to do it anyway. But um, we really enjoyed all the in-person things we did last year, which were like Yucasad and Master Series. And so we wanted to host something ourselves. And yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, so we're hosting it at the Glass House Retreat in Essex. I'll put the details because once you see the venue, you're probably gonna wanna go there. And it's really reasonably priced for like a day option. Um, yeah, super reasonably priced for a day option. Staying overnight does bump the price up quite a lot, but um, yeah, we still really like this place. Um, Tamara's a vegan and this place is vegan. It's alcohol free, it's caffeine free. So yeah, it was like right up her alley. Um, the food looks delicious. So I'm definitely gonna vlog that because there was so much choice. And yeah, we're really excited about the food and the treatments and we're doing four workshops. So I'm hosting a workshop tomorrow morning, which is my quarterly planning session. It's a three hour intense workshop to start off the retreat. Um, it's part of my Goal Getters membership. It's like the main part of the Goal Getters membership where we plan for the next quarter, the next three months. <clears throat> and we not only like plan the goals and set the goals, but we also plan all of our action steps. So we plan what are we going to do to achieve these goals. So I'm really excited to introduce that to more people. Um, because we haven't been able to relaunch the membership. It just hasn't worked out time and wise. I was hoping we could relaunch it for like this month, but it just wouldn't have worked. So I don't know if we're gonna launch it again at the end of the year or at the beginning of next year. Um, so it's gonna be really good to introduce it to more people. I just love this workshop and so do all the members. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then we've got like speed dating but we're doing speed networking um tomorrow and i've never been speed dating so we're not <laughs> really 100 percent sure what that entails but we're gonna make it up as we go along and we also have a surprise evening event so we've got a few ideas we're gonna like see what the vibe is um to see which way we go so there's a few ideas that we've got from there which is why we came to a surprise because we wanted to see like what everyone was into, what people wanted. So rather than just like setting, you know, an in-stone agenda, uh, we can be a bit fluid with that one. And then Saturday on the last day, um, Tamara is hosting her personal purpose workshop, which again, I'm not 100% sure what that's going to be because I haven't done a personal, pur a personal purpose workshop with her. However, knowing her vibe, it's definitely going to be about your own purpose and how that ties into your business. So yeah, and then in between all that, we've got food, we've got treatments, we've got lots of free time. The sun is out. I'm just going for a tunnel, but the sun is out and it's gonna be warm the whole time. So we can be outside enjoying the fresh air and yeah, all the facilities. So I'm gonna show you as much as I can. Obviously, people are going to be in swimwear and things like that, so I'm going to be really careful with what I, um, I'm allowed to film as well, like I don't know what I'm allowed to film in the venue, but we can definitely film stuff in our conference room. I'll be able to show you the venue a bit and like food and things like that, so I'm really excited. So I'm going to get on with driving, uh, I'm going to pick up Tamara, I've got a little surprise for her.
<laughs> I thought I'd make yours. Oh. I'd make yours up. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <gasps> my favourite! There's four packets. Oh my, oh my god, these are so nice. What is this? That's just for you though, because they we, they just gave us one free one. Oh my god, I'm absolutely There you go, loads of food. Oh my god. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, thank you. These look amazing. I love that they're Tiffany's. Very nice. Do you think my... Yeah, your nails complement it. Yeah, yeah they look good. <laughs> room it's got a nice big wardrobe over here ignore all of my stuff this is for our um gift boxes this is the room it's actually huge these are two queen size beds We've got a nice little sitting area over here little desk and we've got this like weird little don't know how to explain it it's like <laughs> window room it's just a room see like not 360 but whatever whatever 270 degree view we've got a cool little we've got a swim bag and a water bottle which is super cute i'll just show you the bathroom as well there is like a kettle and stuff here, which is good because I bought tea bags. So we've got that. And then here's the bathroom. It's got a nice big, nice big bath and a huge shower. I love huge showers. So we're going to pick our goals now, but I just want to have a quick chat about what Q3 is because I think that Q3 in the year really is kind of like the slowest one. We most or well, some people will have kids that are off, so like me, for example, six out of the 12 weeks, my kids are at home. There's no way that I'm going to get as much done in Q3 as I do in the other quarters, and I'm only working three days a week for the whole six weeks. So I'm just doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I have clients too, so I have one day for my own business. So I literally have one goal for the quarter for my business because I'm, there's just no point in me setting more goals because I'm just going to get stressed out that I can't do them and then be resentful that my kids are off when actually what my real goal is is to spend time with the kids because they're not off, you know, all the time. Peaches, she snapped me to snip it. But whatever do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it. Still up with courage to doing the service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes. You cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been dad. When a me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Lay stuff, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit, it's fake stuff, only need it from you. Yeah. Crash land in the palm of my hand. Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast. Carry the torch, I'm way up, it's litty wherever we flow. I came from the cold, used to rest on the floor. I stitched up my wounds, was born a soldier. Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide. 
Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it to ya Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you You know my word is fun, yeah What we on now is wild shit trip Life is lit, take a breath That's it Now it's, it's wild Shit a trip Life is litty, you the gift Chime in I don't really like nothing Trip black fish, hit the splash button Landlock too bad for him And he liable to talk, but it's mad rubbish It don't mean nothing From the shore, trying to make it to the top floor Where the penthouse, pin gang, something mad gets gross No sleeping, been a task rabbit Been a lab at it The chief of the tribe I put on for my village Used to be local, I'm taking it low Drop with the focus, she catching the motion Treat that holistic, I give it a physics Fuck your opinion, just did a show Only spit raw material, I'm independent bitch. I'm in the building, look what we built it It feel like no ceiling, we taking it worldwide Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it to ya Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you You know my word is fun, yeah What we on now is wild shit trip Life is lit Okay, may have to do this welcome again But welcome everyone to the Fabulous Wellness Intensive Where we are going to be be with you now, time was just spent by and we're already at the end of June. Um, so just a bit of housekeeping, so this is the conference room. The nearest toilet that I've found, if anyone finds one place, then let me know. But if you go through the door where like, the muddy boots were, you know, there's the class, um, and just go through the door and then turn left, there's a toilet there, but it's quite a walk. Um, help yourself to the water here, we'll get some glasses actually, and if you want purple teas and things like that, just go to the dining room, help yourself, if you want to purchase anything, obviously you can do that too. This workshop is three hours long, but you are free to go as and when you want. What I usually do with the goal guests, and I'll tell you what that is in a second, is I guide them through the first hour and a half, and then I let them kind of get on with it for the second hour and a half, just so they don't constantly hear my voice and get interrupted. So if it warms up or something, and after the first sort of hour and a half, you can go and do the rest outside maybe, um, just get some fresh air and just do it in the sunshine. So that might be useful. So just to tell you what Goal Guesses is, and this isn't a sales pitch because the membership's not open, so don't worry about me trying to sell you the membership at the end. But basically it is a membership for therapists and private practice to help them set and achieve their goals. And we do this with a mix of vision and strategy. And so what I'm doing in this is basically that we are doing a quarterly planning session, which I do at the end of every quarter, and we plan our next quarter together. So I'm going to be guiding you through some reflection exercises. We are going to align your goals with what it is that you want to achieve over the next few months, and then we're going to take action. So we're going to actually plan out how we are going to achieve the goals, because if we just set a goal and have no intention behind it and no action steps, you'll come to the time where it's like, right, I'm going to do some action on my goal, and you'll be like, where do I start? And you're going to waste so much time just trying to figure out, okay, what is it that I actually am going to do today? So what we're going to do is try and take that away and plan out the next 12 weeks, or as much as we can, because sometimes planning 12 weeks is too much, but if you can plan July, for example, for each of your goals, you'll know when it comes to that block of time when you can take action on your goal, you'll know exactly what you're going to do, so you're not procrastinating and wasting time. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to um, log in. So it's kind of an experiment because we're doing it live with you and I'm doing it online. So you'll be able to hear them but not see them and the same with them. They'll hopefully be able to hear you if you talk about uh, they can't see you. So I'm going to log into that now and start it. networking but I think what we'll do is we'll do some of it and then talk a little bit about how it felt afterwards so networking as you know is my favorite way of building practice or business 
and I think we can totally rely on other people's real estate for things like directory listings or even websites or social media or things like that. But the best way to build a business is through relationships, as we can see, because all of you are here and it's so nice to be with you all and like build the relationships that we've already, you know, some people I've known for years, literally, like since before the pandemic, right? Yep. Um, so thank you all for coming. And we're going to start with um, talk, just pair, in pairs. I'm going to give you a few questions. So I'll give you a different question every time we move. And through that experience, we will see what it's like to um, be with each other. Then we'll talk a bit about it at the end. Okay, does that sound okay? Any questions? Okay. So I'm gonna give you a minute to think about the answer, because sometimes people panic a bit and they don't know what to say. So I'll give you a minute to think about the answer first, and then pick a person sitting next to you. Everyone will have someone to talk to. And then after, you'll have four minutes for that both people to answer the question and then after that we'll move so if you have any difficulty moving stay where you are and let us know and people will move around you okay all right ready everybody ready. okay what is a time that you dressed inappropriately for an occasion so i'm going to give you a minute to think about it wait like a work occasion or like any occasion up to you okay So I thought I'd do a check-in after day one is nearly complete. Everyone's having some relaxation time now around the spa, which I'm obviously not going to film. Yet. People in the hot tub, swimming, there's a sauna. It's been like such a fantastic venue. We started out with our quarterly planning session, as you would have seen, but I really noticed something quite interesting. So we had goal getters, the members, on Zoom, and then we had people in the room. And I noticed that the goal getters, so the people that were on Zoom, in their room by themselves, you know, in their house by themselves, got so much more done. You know, they were head down, going through the work, but doing all of the prompts. Yet the people in the room did a little bit of that, but then once they got comfortable with each other, they were all talking about, you know, what their problems were and so what their goals were and any kind of issues that they had around achieving those goals. And they were brainstorming and things like that. And it was so fun to kind of be in that room, but also see the difference between the people home alone. And I was really wondering like how I can kind of incorporate that into goal getters and having like a brainstorming session. I don't know if we would do that first before the quarterly planning session or how I would incorporate that in because I think community is so important. Like many people work alone in business. Many of the people I work with work alone in business. And I don't think that you can do your best work alone. I feel like you need other people to bounce ideas off and things like that. And it was really evident today at the quarterly planning session. And then we had an amazing lunch and I had the taco salad, the chili taco salad again. It was so amazing. I got a quick snap of it. And then we did a networking session. So it's like speed dating, but we're doing speed networking. And it was really fun. Everyone really enjoyed it. And you could tell like at the beginning, Everyone's a bit more nervous to start talking about the answers to the questions that Tamara set. But then it just got louder and louder and louder. People get much more confident talking about whatever it was that Tamara was asking. And it was just so much easier to start talking um, with somebody new. So that was super fun too. So far, my experience of hosting an in-person event has been so good. Like I've really enjoyed meeting people in the flesh that um, you know I've seen online, through one of my courses or my memberships, or they've just followed me and seen me in video or Tamara. So like I said, really fun to meet people in the flesh, but also really fun to meet new people as well and just get to know more people and what they do in their business and answer questions if I can help them and things like that. So definitely would recommend. <laughs> 
definitely will do again. Me and Tamara are already thinking about the one we're going to host next year. So super excited. And if you like the look of this retreat from this vlog and you would like to attend next year's event, I would love to know what you would like from an event. So what kind of venue would you like? Would you like it held in like a spa like this? Or would you prefer us to get like a huge house so there's no one else there? And then what kind of things would you like to do at the event? What would be the theme of the event? So I'd love to know if you can email me. My email is in the description below or just make a comment. I'd love to know what you would like to see from an event from us. So I'm now going to get in my swimwear and my robe and relax for a couple of hours. I do have to log back on and do a little bit of work. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna have like a couple of hours relaxing and then I'm gonna just do some work whilst we get ready for dinner. only worked through your first goal then I encourage you to keep your momentum and keep going with the other two goals so I picked my talk for the master series as my first goal and I wrote down I have to do this and I have to hire this and I have to practice 20 times and blah 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 and then of course I realized that wasn't really the goal that I needed to working on first so my second one will be planning the summit bundle and the third one will be something personal so something about organizing my summer with my son so um i encourage you to like work through all the steps that kim talked us through and um tell us about it in the whatsapp group because we want to hear if anyone does it or something comes to you or then tell us about it can okay. i just interject one second yeah and if you're not part of goal getters and you would like an accountability partner, maybe in the group, say hands up, my hands up, and see if you can buddy up with someone from the retreat to help you stay accountable to your goals. And I can send you um, what we do in Goal Getters and how we structure our uh, accountability meetings. So I can send that out to everyone as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what do you feel moved to do that would serve you in the way that we've been talking about those things right now? Try not to think too hard about it. Whatever popped into your head, 